skip math class? Well, guess I'm taking all of your everything. Now you have nothing left. Yeah, content farming, you're pun uh, punishing your daughter. There is more like having to wear this one outfit to wear, spelled incorrectly, this one outfit for the next two days, including a shirt that says, I skipped math class. So humiliation, very nice. I wonder if this man is considered just asking his daughter why he skipped math class and having a heart-to-heart -heart with her, you know? So we've talked about parenting on this show before. A couple of times, I think, at least once that I remember, uh, the Matt Walsh parenting video. And, um, you know, I kind of gave my views on parenting. I think that in general, there are a lot of bad ideas about parenting in the modern day. Like there are still people spanking their kids, for instance. And I think that's a uh, an outdated, antiquated practice that we need to get rid of because spanking has shown to do nothing except make things worse for kids. It makes their mental health worse. It can even make their physical health worse if you do it hard enough. Or I just I just consider it hitting your kid. Like you can call it spanking all you want, but like you are just physically abusing your child if you do that. And studies have shown that it does not help at all except to teach them violence and uh, you know and and that and to fear their parents. I don't think kids should fear their parents. I think that's bad. Speaking of fearing your parents, this isn't going to be about spanking, but, and also I do want to give a content warning real quick. Um, it's not going to be like terrible, but there is going to be, one of the things we were going over is a uh, simulated kidnapping, just to give you an idea of what's coming. Um, so if that's not your thing, if you have trauma with that, uh, click away. All right. First thing we're going to go over is this video though. My daughter cut her second period math class with two of her friends. I got to mute this because there's music that I cannot play for copyright. So let's see what this dad does in response to his daughter cutting math class with two of her friends. I muted this, thank you. So this is his daughter's room. He appears to be clearing it out. I decided for her punishment I would turn her room into her own personal jail cell. Very cool, very normal. The fact that she even trying to test me is crazy because Lord knows I tried, but now I gotta get diabolical. I can be the very cool dad or I can be the very cra- See, you know that he's a cool dad because he spelled cool with a K, okay? You, you don't do cool things if you, if you don't spell cool with a K. Like, that's how you, that's how you know, is, is that he spelled it that way. Uh, or I can be the very crazy dad in a crazy way. Well, he's right about that part. I took everything from her, literally everything. Skip math class? Well, guess I'm taking all of your everything. Now you have nothing left. Yeah, content farming, you're pun uh, punishing your daughter. There is more like having to wear this one outfit to wear, spelled incorrectly, this one outfit for the next two days, including a shirt that says, I skipped math class. So humiliation, very nice. I wonder if this man is considered just asking his daughter why he skipped math class and having a heart to heart with her, you know? I wonder if he's considered just, you know, I, I know that it's not always easy and it's not going to fix the problem immediately, but this certainly is not going to fix your problem, okay? It's just not. It'll make your kids hate you. So she gets a t-shirt that says I skipped math class with Crocs. And then of course you get the daughter's reaction, which we're not going to watch because why would I? I am not interested. I actually prefer not to see uh, children suffering. Thank you. All right. So yeah, zero out of 10 for that one. Definitely would not do. Yeah, par parent your children. Don't put them in a jail cell. You had to end up in a retirement home. True. He probably thinks talking to his daughter will make him soft. No, it's, I don't know what it is. It's, it's definitely a trauma cycle thing. Like he was abused as a kid. And so now he's abusing his kids, but that doesn't excuse it, right? That's just an explanation for why he thinks it's okay to fuck up his kids, which I'm assuming that you know, he could have had a fine childhood, but that's my guess because that's how most abuse happens is in a cycle. I wonder why kids are skipping class. Yeah, it would be nice to know, right? Maybe go to the school board and be like, hey, you know, my kids are skipping class. Maybe we can make things more interesting for them or like go to the school first and just see what's up, you know, like see what's up with the math class. Like if it's too hard for your daughter, maybe sit down and do math with your daughter, explain why it's important to graduate high school. You know, like kids aren't stupid, especially not a kid as old as her, because if you saw at the end, she's like, what, 16 probably? Yeah, she looks to be like 16. 16, 17, right? So like, you know, they're not stupid at that age. They're just rebellious. So convince them that, you know, rebelling like that is just going to end up with them not 
succeeding. <laughs> like, it's bad. It's bad for you. Now, if you thought that was bad, I have another one for you. Uh, typically, I like to do these things in threes, but unfortunately, I only have two of them for you. So this is the second one I have, and this is the one that I gave you a content warning for, so click away now if you haven't already. It's uh, if you have trauma to do with kidnapping. Parents pretend to kidnap daughter to teach her a lesson about getting into a car with strangers. Let's see what's going on. This isn't even a punishment. This is just teaching your kid a lesson, apparently. So let's see what's going on here. You've been warned. Jenna, stop it, you mother or father. Jenna, look, turn around. So as you can see, she was being dragged into the car by her parents. She had a black bag put over her head of some sort. And, uh, you know, thankfully they're blurring the kids. But uh, the parents were sitting in the car, literally like kidnapping your own kids and traumatizing them, right? And then the parents are like, oh my God, don't, don't worry, it's just us, right? Turn around, turn around. How could you dare go into a stranger's car? Okay, so this is a punishment. So they, she got into a stranger's car, presumably, and this is the punishment. What are you thinking? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. So, by the way, this guy looks an awful lot like Ben Shapiro, Wet I must say. P -word. Okay, so it seems like they set her up. They set her up. Like, she's, like they didn't kidnap her from her house. She, she like, sorry, I misunderstood this. She, so, so they drove somewhere that she was, and he acted like a stranger or something? I really don't know. I don't know. It's entrapment. Yeah, exactly. That's literally child abuse and gaslighting. Oh, it's beyond child abuse. This will forever give her trauma. You can explain what will happen without actually simulating it. Because the thing is, if you actually simulate it, you are actually giving your child trauma now. Okay? Just tell your child, don't get into a stranger's car. Don't do that. Just explain- Give me your phone right now. Give me your phone now. What oh, great. Cool. If you came out- Ripping the phone out of her hand. Very nice move. And it wasn't us sitting back here. And there were really crazy people back here. Well, there are crazy people back there. So. Never would have saw you again. So yeah, that's cool. I don't know why. Why did they blur the dad's face? So this is the stranger, supposedly, but apparently a friend of these guys. This is the dad's face. Why are they blurring him? He doesn't deserve to be blurred. Put him on blast. He's part of this shit show. So yeah, there were crazy people in the back. It just happened to be your parents. And I, I saw these two things in close proximity to each other, and I just thought it was really interesting that people parent their kids like this. It's insane to me. Um, if you want to be good parents, just sit down with your kids and talk with them uh, sometimes. <laughs> um, you know, make sure that the things are going okay in their lives. Make sure they're satisfied and happy and whatever. You know, like I acted up when I was a kid, and whenever my dad would actually sit down and explain things to me and talk to me, that's when I would change my behaviors. It was when my dad or my, uh, my mom didn't do a whole lot of that, unfortunately. Um, but um, whenever they would, um, you know, they never pulled shit like this, but whenever they would spank me or ground me or anything like that, like, it just never really worked to change the behavior. Like, it didn't work. You know, it didn't instill in me the, the proper change of behavior. You know, and so I see stuff like this and this is just like, no like some of this stuff is just normalized. There are people in the comments who think this is perfectly acceptable. Most are saying this is overboard, I'll never trust them again. <laughs> and that's how you make sure your kid gets into the van just to get away from your parents. Okay, well then, I guess I was wrong. Maybe most people are, uh, most people seem to not like this one. <laughs> I don't see why, here, this one's good. I don't see why you guys are all negative. I was just getting ready to teach my kids not to take drugs by lacing their morning vitamins with fentanyl. Because if they can't even trust their parents, they'll never trust anyone for the rest of their lives. And that's good, right? Um, there are better ways to teach your kids the lesson to not get into a stranger's car, is my point. Um, be normal parents, please. Just talk to your kids and instill in them values via word of mouth rather than literally kidnapping them. That would be bad. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash TTV slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.